today we take a look for a masked man back from the wood. Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Final Fantasy XIV Online. How are you guys doing today? I'm having a great day. Look how busy it is. We're in New Gridania, and um, there's just always, wherever I go, uh, one of the things I'm really liking is that there's so many people all over the place. It's amazing. Um, it really is. So I'm quite excited um, to continue playing. So let's kind of continue on the main storyline in a realm reborns here and um obviously we have other options check it this out but um back from the wood commander hoylix uh appears to have more to say all right the sylphic folk have long been friends to gridania the mere thought of war uh, being at war with them, pain the Elder Seed Seer to no end. But owing to the efforts, owing to your efforts, uh, she'll be able to rest easier. Being, oh, missed it. I was trying to move the chat again. Uh, that is annoying. A little bit. Uh, once again, I thank you. Had the signs of the seventh dawn not offered to meditate between our peoples or mediate between our peoples suspicion and doubt may have led us into a needless conflict pray pass on the legend to lady minphelia all right i'll have to do that minphelia hello hello clobber stomp can you hear me it is i uh, minphelia yitta and papa limo returned some a little while ago they have wasted no time in regaling me of your tale of your exploits thanks in large part to you the name of the primal may be struck from our list of enemies and the gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters well done yet at the end of one tale it is but a start of another pray return to the walking waking sands at your earliest convenience i would apprise you uh, to, of the present present situation. All right, so we need to go head back to the sands. Your mission is to make contact with the Sylphs with the ultimate goal of finding a peaceful resolution and Rama. Be fairly warned, the Sylphs are unique people. I've done that already. What? Speak to Tataru. Clearly, I have done the wrong thing. Um, I thought I had to go to Minphelia. I am incorrect here. So let's find Tutaru and see what we can do. Um, clearly, I've made a mistake. Biggs and Wedge. All right, where are we at on the map here? Uh, apparently, we have to go back this way. All right, so clearly we're not in the right space. Yes, it said go to the Waking Sands, so I did. What the hell? Um, all right, so... Oh, it might help if you watch what you're doing. <laughs> well, if it isn't my favorite adventure, welcome back, Clobberstomp. Lady Minfili awaits you in the solar. Please enter at your leisure. Really? You? We needed to have that? that that's what I needed to have. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a little annoying. Uh, but that's okay. It's all good. In the waking sands. Ah, here we go. I'm given to understand that the matter of Rama has finally been resolved. You're damn right, flippy hair. Hmm, I fear resolved bespeaks, bespeaks a perf permanence we cannot rightly claim yet i am well satisfied that the lord of leaven will not trouble us for in the foreseeable future your satisfaction is assurance enough for me 
How fares the investigation? Well enough, Thancred is sparing no effort. Uh, there, there are many and one just as you suspected. Their purpose, however, eludes us still. I see. Ah, I've been meaning to ask you, but Alice say it's quite well. I feel as if I have scarcely seen her in recent days. Oh, you haven't, and nor have I. Alas, Alice has chosen to walk her own path, stubborn girl, but you may be assured that our destination remains the same. And on that note, I will take I take my leave of you. I trust the bald Baldesian report will serve you well. I take it we can proceed as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to act. A little snippy buddy. Hmm. It's good to see you again, Clobberstomp. I've been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in the Twelves Wood. Owing to you, owing to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly, you have done the Scions proud. With that, we can strike Rama from the list. So who's next? The Sahagin or Sahajin? I don't know how to pronounce that one. And and Leviathan? The Lord of the War Horl? Horl has not answered his minions call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the near future. Well Sahagin I don't know how to pronounce that. If you guys could tell me how to pronounce that or find... You know what I really need is a place where I can find the pronunciations of this stuff. Because I don't know what they are. <laughs> Remain as aggressive as ever. Uh, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. Uh, as with the sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices for a time, at least. For a time bears repeating, we can ill afford to fall complacent. It is as Ish Ishtola says, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict with any certainty when the next, when next a primal will return to plague the land. This being the case, we must proceed as much haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The Maelstrom keeps the kobolds under constant observation. We shall hear from them ere long. You may depend on it. Upon it. Indeed, so then... Of all the known primals that have been active in recent times, we are left with... Gridania. Wait, I must... I meant Garuda, uh, who is the primal of Ixel, who live near Gridania. Yes, that's what I meant. So many malms to cover. Would that there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys. Were he still with us, we should not long have wanted a more predictable, practical, practicable solution. Some of these words, man, um, crazy. She's not wrong. <sighs> Where in the world are you, chief?
but one sure step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. Uh, respite, uh, you've earned it. Oh, we have time to enjoy being not under any kind of nonsense or goal, which I'm sure won't last long. Uh, we have many things to adhere to, I'm sure. The story is, is there something else, Clobberstomp? Beg pardon? Uh, a man named La Habrea, sporting a red mask and robed in black. Twelve preserve. Part of the calamity that As, uh, Askians, Asians, I don't know how to pronounce that word either, um, took Great Plains to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? Gods, this bodes ill. We must take advantage of the present lull in primal hostilities and investigate this Laha Brea. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to the... Eek! Tataru. Tataru! Oh, the sylph came. A sylph? In Thanalan? At long last, this one finds walking one clobber stomp. This one's most dependable of these ones is sent uh, by Elder One Frixio to help walking ones. This one is called Noraxia. This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. P -p Pleasure to meet you, Noraxia. Okay, so we have a sylph amongst our ranks. That's kind of cool. Helpful. No doubt. Um, okay, what does it want us to do now? Um... Let's talk, I guess. Let's see. All right, Minfilia. Tataru is as ready to express her fright as she is to express everything else. Uh, not all of us have forged the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family, and it pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow. One by one, the people of Eorzea are beginning to unite Clobberstomp, drawn to hope that shines within you. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. Never have I doubted that Askin's presence, uh, but they that they have grown so brazen as to carry out their work plain sight fills me with a sense of deepening foreboding. All right. Nice. We have unlocked back from the wood. All right, we've done it. Beautiful. I guess we could probably just kind of continue on, hey? All right, let's continue on. This might be a longer video, but we'll see what happens. We have to get going on La Habrea. I am afraid there is no rest for the weary clobber stop. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man. The Askins know as La, La Habrea. This is an ideal moment to do so while our hands are not bound to dealing with another primal. At present, we know little and less about Askins, only that destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that racks the realm. It, um, if my fears prove to be reality, we must do all in our power to stop them. 
Earlier I sent word to the Grand Company to solicit cooperation. The Immortal Flames responded to the effect that they have information on the potential sighting. This intelligence that we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with the Flame Commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Ulda to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly uh, to your discretion. But whatever you do, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take many precautions. Be safe. Clobber stomp. All right. We are not going to take too many precautions. Ah, we have returned home to Ulda. Let's take a look and talk to... The Hall of Flames commander. All right, Swift, what do you got for me? The Masked Man, are you, you are come on the behalf of the Scions? Of course, of course. Uh, yes, as we've already relayed to Lady Minfilia, there's been a sighting of this rogue near the about Eastern Thanalan. Uh, the, a brass blade stationed at High Bridge described him in detail when he altered us to suspicious, alerted us to uh, suspicious activity. I would point to you to the witness, but I'm afraid he died not two days ago, slain by a marauding horde of Kukirin. Uh Fate can be a cruel mistress, but do not be too quick to despair. For being situated on a trade route, High Bridge sees its fair share of travelers. Folk are always coming and going, and some among them may well have caught a glimpse of your target. You could do worse than to speak with a merchant named Hi Hi Baru. He 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 Baru. I don't know how to pronounce some of these names. I apologize if I'm really making a mistake here. Um, the fellows always starved for customers. And he'd no doubt welcome your attention, whether or not you have coin or mind to spend it. Okay, so I guess we're headed to the Eastern Thanalan um, to see it's north of Drybone. All right, well, let's take a look. All right, we have reached Wellwick Wood. All right, let's talk to... Hi, hi, Baru. Welcome to Highbridge Adventure. Oh, well, we've made it to Highbridge. Sorry, not uh, Wellwick. Uh, whatever you seek, I, hi, hi, Baru, can provide it. Probably. You're after the masked man? Hmm. Not sure I've seen one of those in stock. Oh, you're after a masked man. Why didn't you say so sooner? Such an individual might have featured uh featured in one of many rumors i've heard if you linger a while mayhap you'll learn a thing or two eh okay yes continue when the order of the null thal began excavating the ruins below i had high i had hopes that high bridge would turn into a bustling hub for pilgrims thanks to a Nigh endless beastmen raids. Folk are too afraid to come within a malm of here. How far is a malm? Don't know what that means, but that's amazing. I sold everything I owned to get my venture started, and I'm loath to give up without making an earnest effort to stick it out. But if things keep going as they are, I'll bankrupt. I'll be bankrupt before the moon is through. Wine won't do me any good though. No, for my business to survive, I need business. Speaking of which, perhaps you'd like to browse my wares, spend a bit of coin, help a struggling merchant, a masked man? Bah, Thal, take your bloody masked man. I know what I said before, but vague rumors are all I've got. If you want to know about him, go and ask other merchants. Okay, we can we can go ask some other merchants. Um, where might they be? Down below? Ah, okay. Perfect. All right, let's go talk to these other merchants over here and see what's up. All right. 
I've heard a tell of a masked man. Seems he's been appearing not only around Highbridge, but elsewhere about Thanalan too. Enough folk have reported seeing him to convince me he's more than a figment of my imagination, but little is known about him otherwise. All right. We spoke to one. Um, wow, look at this place. This place is awesome. I, I feel like that's bad news if you fall down there. Look at that. Look at all the sculptures and everything. That's pretty cool. Let's find these other merchants here, baby. Earth sprites. I'm guessing we have to go up. I'm excited to use my skills now that I've been paying a little bit more closer attention. Oh, absent-minded merchant. On the trail for a masked man, I have heard of him, but only in hushed tones and faint whispers. It's said he wears a black hooded robe and looks right suspicious. And that's all I can say about Lil, though it is. Yeah, I already know that. Your information was completely useless. Thank you for nothing, buddy. All right, so... All right, let's talk to the impassive merchant. Have I seen a masked man wearing a dark robe? No, I haven't, nor do I wish to. Business is bad enough without shady characters lurking about. Folk have been giving Highbridge a wide berth since all the Kikuran raids. None but the most devout of pilgrims are willing to come here anymore. Okay, that's bad. I'm guessing we need to talk to the other merchant because he's got rumors at least and these other guys are useless. They give us no information whatsoever. Hmm. We also have to get going on our My Feisty Little Chocobo uh, quest. We'll probably do that next. Judging by your expression, I take it you didn't learn much of use. Look, I'm sorry for my rudeness earlier. It's just that things are tough for us merchants at the moment. The Kikirin raids are so constant, so organized, we're beginning to suspect that someone is orchestrating it all. I tend to put my own welfare first, like most of us do, but it doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Um, I promise to keep an eye out for your masked man. If you hear anything, uh, you'll be the first to know. Okay, so apparently there's this masked fella that's around. We are now level 32, which is amazing. I am excited. I can't remember if you guys saw all of the things inside of my FC chat, so I apologize for that. But um, there we go. Uh, we've completed some of our main scenario quests, and the plot thickens. The uh, masked man is not around. Don't really know what's going on nor can I find him, so we're going to have to dive in further. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to like and share, and I'll catch you guys in the next upcoming episode. Take care, and be well.